Hey everyone, good morning. It's Desiree. Um, today we have another package opening and I'm really excited about this. I started collecting ball jointed balls and even if they're not like the super expensive kind, um, they still make me happy. <laughs> Um, I showed you guys one recently, it was this doll, but the one that's in this box isn't the same one, but it's from the same company, so it's okay if I show you the box now. Basically, this is the company that put them out. It's going to be backwards to you guys, but it says, produced by Zijian Nahan Technology, um, Yukonan Doll Collection. They are on youcaretoys.com. That's y o u c a r e t o y s dot com, and they're also known as a Keelig doll. That sounds German. I'm almost sure that's a German name. <laughs> and um, yeah, they're suitable for ages three and up. So I'm excited. I found an 18 inch one that I'm like dying to have, so I might have to do that <laughs> at some point, um, because you guys know I like baby dolls and stuff, so yeah. I do have one that's the size of a baby doll, and I was talking about it on the doll forum on Reddit, and this one lady says that she has one, and that they are very poseable, which is cool, and that she can fit American Girl clothes. So that's pretty awesome if you ask me. I like that. Um, so let's see. Okay, the first thing that you find in the package is a little pair of red Converse looking sneakers. I have yellow ones from the other doll that I got. Um, oh, this is so cute. Okay, so this is the bag of her outfits and accessories. Hi, Chantilly. Please don't mess up my video. <laughs> She's very nosy. She follows me everywhere. Um, okay, so she's wearing a skirt. I actually have a skirt just like this that I wear for work, except that mine is a pencil skirt and hers is pleated all around. Um, but I like this material. This is called Houndstooth and it has hints of pink. But it looks exactly like a skirt that I wear for work, except that mine is straight, so it looks like that. Um, she has a little pink sleeveless turtleneck sweater that is attached to it. It's all one piece. It opens and closes with Velcro. Um, what I really like here is her coat. It's pretty well made. Um, it's better than Barbie clothes, but it's not like... Um, super, super heavy, but that's okay because it looks like it is, and that's the point. Um, there's faux fur on the sleeves and on the hem of the hood. I'm not sure the name of this pattern on the material, but it's very nice and it's very soft. And then her buttons feel like fur as well, but they're like a flocking. That is so cute. I love it. And on the front, there is a little pearl with a ribbon. And over that it says, uh, Jimma Bow. I'm not sure <laughs> what that is, but it's very cute, so I don't care. <laughs> um, oh, that's some of her goodies. Let's see. So we have little panties, leg warmers. Oh no, these are knee highs, they're not leg warmers, because leg warmers want to have a bottom. These are knee highs. So you have two of those. And some Velcro for her wig. It's right here. So I'm going to put that back in here so it doesn't get lost. And then these are the shoes that go with the outfit um, that I purchased her in. They're also little sneakers, but instead of laces... These are Velcro. <laughs> They're so cute. I actually have shoes in a, a very similar color, but mine are like slip-on uh, skateboard type shoes, but they're very cute. And it's the same shade of pink. I love it. <laughs> and here's the other little shoesy. 
Very cute. Very, very cute. I'm impressed so far. I really like this company. I'm gonna have to um, order from them pretty consistently, I think. Um, wow, this is a really nice headband. And then there, I think it says, um, it has a name on it, Komia, Kor does this say Korea? I can't see it. I don't know. But this is very cute anyway, and it really matches her, her outfit. I love it. I really, really love it. How cute is that? This should fit her head very nicely. We'll try that on. Um, this dolly is a light brunette. She has brown hair. So... Okay, I put on the overhead light so you guys will be able to see everything perfectly without any problems. Okay, here are some more accessories that they sent us. Um, the little add-ons are always really cute. I like what they send. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a big purple bow. <laughs> and then we have one that's like in a rose color. Can't get it out. These are actually really nice. I would wear these. If they have good stretch, I'll put them in my own hair because my hair is getting long. Yeah, I might keep these <laughs> for myself. <laughs> um, what else? We have... Da -da -da -da. The same scepter and crown from before. <laughs> and it says Amy on top with a really creepy sun. That is awesome. You see that? It's like nightmare fuel. <laughs> um, come on, we have the same mirror set from before, so I'll probably just end up giving this to my niece. And she also has rubber bands and butterfly or flower clips for her hair. And they're really cute and small and delicate and the claw holds pretty good. And I like the colors that they sent, so it's like a mint green and a hot pink. Very cute. Very, very cute. And here is our ball. She has a very similar face to the one that I purchased um, recently, which is fine because I think that it's a pretty face anyway. So um, her eyes seem to be a little darker, in fact let me grab it. Okay so you guys recognize her, this is Lila, this is the one that I got um, recently. Um, I thought that their eyes would be a little bit different but actually they're the same. Um, so this is basically what Lila looks like without her wig and under her clothes. Uh, she's very poseable, very, very poseable. So what a ball jointed doll is, is literally just balls where the joints are instead of screws or strings. So some dolls are strung up with string, some dolls have um, screws, but this these type dolls literally are just ball joints, so you can like sit them down, you can bend them in positions and so forth, which is cool because it, it's nice for like display purposes and posing. Um, let me see something. Oh yeah, they have the same build because um, Lila is just as posable, so that's really cool. So let's get this little lady dressed up and ready to go. Um, so what I like about these dolls is, even though they're not very expensive, they're pretty well made. Um, they're attractive as well, like aesthetically they're very pretty to look at. Um, they photograph well. The people that I showed it to on my Reddit channel seem to like them. Um, oh, I just noticed that she has painted toenails. I knew her fingernails were painted, but I didn't notice that on her toes. Isn't that cute? She's so delicate. <laughs> 
Um, but these dolls are really well made. Some of them, like a really expensive ball joints doll, you can open up the head and switch out the eyes for like different eye colors. Um, these you can't, but that's okay anyway because I don't think I would have done that as it is. Um, to be very honest. Oh, I forgot her panties. You can't be a lady without panties. I'm so sorry. Let's slip your undies on. But these dolls are like really, really cute and I'm super excited to have them. And this is definitely going to be like a new thing for me. Um, I'll go through bouts where I'm like really into something and then it just kind of like stops. And then I'll find something else that I really like and you know. <laughs> but so far these have held my interest more. Like there was a time when I was like really hooked on uh, Rainbow High. And then I was just like, nah. And it was the same thing with Monster High. I was like, oh my god, these are really cute. And then... Meh. <laughs> um, these I like a little different because they're more interactive. You can dress them up, you can uh, make them look more how you like. And what's cool is that if they're the same size, then your dolls can share clothes, they can share wigs, um, so you can fully customize them, which is really awesome. I like that. And I'm very pleased with that, so let's see. her little jacket. They're pretty easy to dress too, I gotta say. Dressing a real baby is like <laughs> way harder. <laughs> you gotta deal with alligator rolls and crying and everything and these dolls are just like, yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> so that's always fun. They do have um, black BJD dolls, which I was surprised to find out, but that's really cool and I'm gonna try and get a couple to add them to my little board of dollies because I think that's pretty neat. I always saw BJDs in this skin tone and um, I don't know that it's just like, I don't know if it's just because it's just a generic skin tone because no one's this pale or <laughs> if it literally is um, over enthusiasm <laughs> for Caucasian dolls, I don't know. But it was kind of interesting to see a darker one, so I'm going to probably pick up one or two of those at some point and add them to my little collection. Okay, one thing I gotta say is putting on her knee highs are is a little hard because they're kind of tight, but they hold up well once they're on her. So if you do get this doll, this is the one that's called Joey, but I'm not keeping that as her name because no. <laughs> um. So if you do get a Joey doll, just be prepared because it's a little difficult to get her knee highs on. But once they're on, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty good. Um, there we go, there we go. So you see, this is what she looks like with her knee socks, um, her little shoesies, and then we'll put on her wig. digging these dolls. Um, they don't come with stands, but they can hold a pose pretty well. So like if you put her on a table or a shelf, from my experience anyway, from the one that I have previously, um, she's not going to just like topple over and give you a heart attack. <laughs> she seems to hold a pose pretty well, which is great. There's one little shoe. Close with Velcro. So she's almost done. Now we're gonna take out her wig. Oh, and what's cool, like I said, is that they can share wigs. So let's take off Lila's and I'll show you. Um, I have to attach her Velcro. So they give you two strips. Um, I only put one on Lila's head, but I think I'm gonna use both because it seems like it holds better with two. I should have figured that, but I didn't. So for this little girl, whose name I haven't decided yet, um, <laughs> I will figure that out soon. Because usually I like to name my dolls. Sometimes I can't name all of them because like I literally have hundreds of dolls. 
Oh, they're gonna need name tags for me to remember all of them. I can remember most, but I can't remember like everything. So the Velcro attaches to her head with um, sticky glue and it comes right off in case you want to take it off for whatever reason to clean her or whatever. Um, but they can switch wigs. So like this is what she looks like in Lila's wig, which is actually really cute. She looks adorable with the pink and the blue and everything. But I got one pink and one blue doll simply to offset each other. Um, so that's what she looks like in Lila's. this is her wig. Her hair looks a lot like mine because my hair is brown and I wear it with bangs too. Um, stretch it out. It's a pretty good quality wig. Um, it's not the most expensive thing ever but it holds really well and it looks attractive. I like it. It's very soft. It's very shiny. Um, it feels like it's like acrylic hair but I mean that's what you can expect. You know you don't you, you can't expect a human hair <laughs> on a doll, especially a doll that you only spent like 50 bucks on, so. And even that's uh, kind of expensive, I guess. Um, but for a ball joints a doll, that's like really cheap. <laughs> um, I'm having trouble slapping this on her head. Give me a second. Come on, sweetie. I really gotta stretch this out, it, it feels like. Okay, once it's like on her head. It looks pretty good, but I'm having trouble getting it to stretch out, so that's kind of annoying. But that's also because it's new, it hasn't been used yet, so I guess I can't be too surprised. Um, okay, now it's starting to like flatten out more. Nope. Come on. What is this? So you may have to struggle to get this wig on her. It's not because of sizing, it's literally because of the shape. Um, because it's been like flat for so long that it has to get used to her little bulbous head. <laughs> but she looks really cute regardless. Oh, I love her. I don't even know why I never got into these type dolls before. She is too freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I love her. And what's great about this company is they sent my dolls early. Like, um... They weren't supposed to be here until Monday, so that's kind of cool. And then, um, they're really low quality. I, I, I think that they're pretty good quality dolls for the price. I'm going to try to put on her headband because maybe that'll help keep her wig in place. Yeah, this looks better now. There we go. And then once, like, it gets used to the shape of her head, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so don't let that discourage you. <laughs> It's literally because the wig was flattened out in its own package, um, and it hasn't been used yet, which is good, so that means that it wasn't ready for her head shape, but that's okay. Um, these dolls, I believe, are scale 1-6, and they're 46 centimeters, so like if you wanted to buy clothes for them, that's how you would do it. Um, you can get them specifically as Yukonon clothes, or I guess um, anyone that makes clothes in that scale size because I was looking it up so that way I could find out for myself um, because I wanted to get some extra outfits for my girls oh my god these dolls are wicked wicked cute oh. All right, let me just fix Lila's hair but now you know that you can switch wigs with them so here's Lila again and here's her little buddy we are so freaking cute, and our new mama loves us. That is a really stupid song, Dad. Shut up. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to name this one yet, but if you guys have name suggestions, that would be great. And I thank you guys for joining in and watching and enjoying the cuteness of these little dolls. Oh, and by the way, um, they look really cute with baby My Little Ponies. Ah, photo op! I took pictures of Lila with um, baby cuddles and they'll look cute together. So I have a thousand little baby ponies running around my apartment. Um, so that's going to be cute. I'm going to do like a little photo shoot with them. <laughs> so I thank you guys for watching. And if anyone is interested, I will leave the information in the comments about their product name and sizing and all of that jazz. 
or um, in the subject matter, rather, not the comments. All right? Okay, guys. Bye. Say bye, sweetie.